Okay, um, good morning everyone. My name is Yan Peng Yang, and I'm a PhD student from the University of Hong Kong. And I'm very glad here to present our paper, Unifying Typing and Subtyping. So this is joint work with my supervisor, Bruno Oliveira. So let's get started. So there is a trend in programming language research that dependent types are gaining popularity. For example, we have several full spectrum dependently typed languages like IDRIS, AGDA, and COC. So there are two benefits of using dependent types in the language design. The first is that you can gain the expressiveness of type systems. So all these three languages shown here have a very powerful type system that can be even used as proof assistance. And second, which is interesting here, is the economy of concept. So by using dependent types in your language design, you can no longer distinguish the terms and types because you, you can freely um, lift terms to type level. So as a result, you can have less syntax or fewer rules or even a simpler meta theory for your language. On the other hand, in the object-oriented programming scene, the theoretical basis is becoming complex. For example, back to 2004, the generics in Java 5 needs at least the system F sub or F omega sub to uh, formalize. And from the beginning of Scala, it supports the past dependent types. And just like last talk, we need a more advanced calculus called dependent object types to deal with it. So here is the research problem. Can we bring the benefits of dependent types to the scene of object-oriented programming? And especially in our work, we focus on the second benefit, the economy of concept. So to model the object-oriented programming, we often need the subtyping relation. However, it is challenging to combine dependent types with subtyping. I would like to quote the sentences from the paper, subtyping dependent types. So one thing that makes the study of these systems difficult is that if you have dependent types, the subtyping and typing relations becoming intimately tangled. So which means the previous well-tested techniques of examining subtyping isolation no longer apply. Specifically speaking, we have two problems here. The first, we have the mutual dependency of typing and subtyping relations. For example, we have two rules here in such systems. So the left one is the subsumption rule. You can see that the conclusion is the typing relation, which is in blue. And you have this red subtyping relation in the premise, which means that the typing relation depends on the subtyping. And similarly, on the right, uh, on the right part, which is the subtyping rule for top types, you have the subtyping relation depends on typing. Another problem is the duplication of concepts. The example here is that there are three distinct forms of abstractions in the system F omega sub. Because in the quantifiers, you need at least two relations, the typing and subtyping here. However, they are all abstractions or lambdas, but you have to duplicate this. There are several previous studies try to deal with this complex system. They all try to carefully untangle typing and subtyping in some ways. The result is that the calculus becomes kind of restricted and lose some expressiveness when compared to the simpler uh, calculus system F sub. System F sub features three main features, including contravariance, bounded quantification, and top types. However, these previous attempts cannot do these three features in the same time. So here is our contribution. We took a different approach to deal with this problem. Instead of trying to untangle typing and subtyping, we just embrace this tangling. The key idea here is that we unify typing and subtyping into the same relation. So here are several contributions. First, we propose this new idea called unified subtyping and the application of it called lambda i sub calculus. So we have only one single relation for both subtyping and typing. We support, then we can support dependent types with even unified syntax, the pure type system-like syntax. And this calculus can fully subsume system F sub. And we also mechanize our properties of meta theory in COC. So most of them, 
Uh, we didn't do this for the subsumption of system F sub due to some technical difficulties. And we also show an example of object encodings in our calculus to show its expressiveness. So next part is an overview of this idea. So unified subtyping combines typing and subtyping in this way. So you can see this uh, form of this relation here. The explanation goes like this. This E1 is a subtype of E2, and both of them have the same type A here. And by using this definition, we can treat the original typing and another relation, type well-formedness, as synthetic sugar of this new one. As long as we set these two uh, expressions, E1, E2, to be the same E here, so you can see that. And similar for the type well-formedness. By using this concept, we can simplify the combination of typing and subtyping. We can solve the previous two problems trivially. First, there will be no mutual dependency because we have only this unified subtyping relation. And the previous two rules can be rewritten like this. So there's only one relation and no mutual dependency. Second, we can just use one single form of abstraction by combining typing and subtyping together in the quantifier like this. So the bound E1 can be given a type A. So the normal abstractions like this are just synthetic sugar of this new one. So the first line here would give the bound top type, and the second line here we give the bound A, the kind star. And the small note here is that to allow such synthetic sugar, we generalize top type to be any type A. And we find that another complexity of the old approach is that Normally, conversion rule and subsumption rule are mixed up in such systems. For example, the left subsumption rule subsumes the right conversion rule because the subtyping relation subsumes beta conversion here. An unfortunate consequence is that the strong normalization is entangled with some other proofs like transitivity of subtyping or disability of type checking. That makes the meta theory hard to prove. So we took another approach to replace conversion rule with so-called explicit typecasts. So this is a well-studied approach to decouple strong normalizations by several previous studies. And tr the trade-off is that the system is now only up to alpha equality. It is somehow inconvenient for heavy type conversion. But we think it is still sufficient for our purpose to do the object encodings. OK, small summary here. We simplify the design of our calculus by two means. First, we use this new idea, unified subtyping, to avoid circularity between typing and subtyping. And second, we use explicit typecasts to decouple strong normalization from the proofs. So a question here is that, is this design oversimplified? We consider no, because it is still expressive enough to encode objects, which require some advanced feature like high order subtyping. So we think our calculus is still appropriate to serve as the theoretical foundation for object-oriented programming. To do the object encoding, we, we used the approach called existential object encodings by Pierce and Turner in 1994. So here is the encoding. Um, the OBJ here is a type-level function. It takes a parameter interface which requires um, higher kinds, star to star and it returns an existential type. The existential type, the quantifier, is x, which is the state type. The body is the state with the methods. And to allow such encoding, we need some dependencies. For example, we need to use the church encoding of weak dependent sums. It looks like this. And this is quite useful, this dependency, because we can encode some OO concepts, like the type member. For example, in the Left part is the abstract set interface written in Scala. So the type T here is a type member in the trait set. And we can do this encoding using this dependent sum types in our calculus. You, you may notice that this T is now the quantifier here. And how to do the proofs? So here is the meta theory of unified subtyping. The high level view of the methodology goes into three steps. So first, we set up two main targets or properties of our calculus, the transitivity and type safety. And the second step is the trickiest one. 
we need to figure out the correct form and the proof order of lemmas. Finally, we can just use the stand standard induction techniques in TAPL to finish the proofs. So we focus on the second step. Here is a case study on it. So normally, one tries to prove the fundamental lemmas, like this reflexivity lemmas first, or called regularity in some literature. So this lemma basically ensures the explanation of unified subtyping correct. However, it is mutually dependent on the other lemma called correctness of types. And this is another fundamental lemma that required by many other lemmas. So here it is. So the diagram goes like this. If you want to prove some other lemmas like narrowing, transitivity, or substitution, you have to deal with these two mutually dependent lemmas first. So this makes the meta theory very hard to prove. So we have one observation in the paper. The correctness of types, this lemma, only depends on the right reflexivity. So which means that we just use the second conclusion of re the reflexivity lemma. So to deal with this circularity, we can simply divide this lemma, basic lemma reflexivity into two sub lemmas here. And then the diagram goes like this. We can break the circularity by only depend on the mutual, uh, mutual proofs of right reflexivity and correctness of types. So the circularity can be broken. Finally, some related work. There are basically two types of related work to our work. The first one is the subtyping with traditional dependent types. So we already showed this table before. And we add one more line for our calculus, lambda i sub. So we can see that in our calculus, we can support all these three features to subsume system f sub. And one more recent and interesting work is pure subtype system by Hutchins in 2010. It uses the similar idea to be purely based on subtyping. But this calculus is more aggressive. There's even no concept of typing, so those column and type. So in this language, the function and function types are merged. So a, a, a consequence is that there is no contravariance in this language, and it does not subsume system F sub. And finally, the meta theory Meta theory proof of this language is quite complex, and unfortunately, it is still incomplete. And another track of related work is subtyping with some restricted form of dependent types, such as the past dependent types. So the dot is the theoretic foundation for Scala, and it supports both lower and upper bound of quantification, so that it can it can subsume system F sub. However, at the time of writing this paper, the soundness proof is still complex until the last talk. <laughs> and the other, uh, the other problem is that a dot does not support transitivity elimination. So you have to use the built-in transitivity rule in this calculus. Compared to our work, we use the unified syntax. However, lambda i sub uses the non-unified stratified syntax like system f sub. And it uses some kind of non-traditional dependent types based on past selection. Uh, for the audience who are interested in this work, you can read more materials in the paper, like how to do the generic message passing uh, using our calculus, and the formal presentation of the calculus, some proof details, and the proof of subsumption of system F sub, and some variants of this calculus. So finally, the conclusion. So we propose unified subtyping. We use this idea to simplify the combination of dependent types and subtyping. We proposed an application of this idea, the lambda i sub calculus, and its meta theory is well developed. For the future work, we want to explore the decidability proof of this calculus, and we want to explore some different variants of it, like uh, supporting re recursion and some other features. And we may even extend this just like thought to support lower bound. That's all. This is end of this talk. Thank you very much.